Today we're making beer bread, not one, but three. An Irish style soda bread, a quick seeded roll, and something a little more complex. First up, our Irish style soda bread. Into a bowl, place 250 grams of wholemeal flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and quarter teaspoon of table salt. Give those dry ingredients a little mix together, then add one and a half tablespoons of clear honey. Now it's time for the beer, and I'm starting off with a personal favorite at the moment, Thirsty Ferret. This is a lovely little amber ale from Badger Brewery, a great session beer, and the balance between its malty and floral notes makes it the perfect choice for this soda bread. So add 200 ml of Thirsty Ferret to the bowl and then using a spoon or spatula, mix everything together until it forms a very soft and sticky dough. Lightly grease a one pound loaf tin with melted butter and dust it with flour. Then place the dough into the tin, score the dough down the center to help it open during the cooking and sprinkle it generously with sea salt. Into the oven at 180 degrees C for about 45, 50 minutes, until crisp and golden brown. Once cooked, remove the bread from the tin and leave to cool on a white rack. While that's cooling, let's move on to our second bread, a reasonably quick seeded beer roll. Place 250 grams of strong white flour into a bowl along with five grams of table salt and then give that a mix together. For this dough, we're including fresh yeast, which is this funky looking block here. You should be able to pick some up from your local bakery or online. You can always sub it for dried yeast, but you'll only need about half as much. So place 15 grams of fresh yeast into a small bowl, add a tablespoon of water and then stir everything together to dissolve the yeast. Add the yeast liquid to the bowl along with 165 grams of dark strong ale. For these rolls I went with a beer that I've not had before, Old Tom from Robinson's Brewery. To be honest, I only bought it because of this cool cat's eye label, but this ale is delicious. Deep, rich, sweet, and bitter. It has this molasses flavor to it that is perfect for adding depth to bread quickly. And at 8.5%, it's strong. Use a dough scraper to bring the dough together to a soft, slightly sticky dough, then turn it onto the table and using the trusted slap and fold method, work the dough for eight to 10 minutes until firm and springy. Use a dough scraper to tighten the dough into a ball and then place into a bowl, cover and leave to prove until doubled in size. Once doubled and nice and puffy, back onto the table and cut the dough into four. Shape each piece into a round ball and then dip smooth side down into a bowl of mixed seeds to completely cover the tops of these rolls. Place the rolls onto a lined baking sheet and leave to prove again until doubled in size. Then into the oven at 190 degrees C for 25 to 30 minutes until puffed up and golden brown. Transfer the finished rolls to a wire rack and leave to cool. Our final bread is a touch more complex and this time we're using the goat of all beards, Guinness. I don't need to tell you how good it is, whether you're drinking it or cooking with it, you're always going to be pleased with the end result. So into a standing mixer, add 250 grams of strong wholemeal flour, 250 grams of strong white flour, 100 grams of rolled oats, 10 grams of fine sea salt, and a generous tablespoon of honey. Place 25 grams of butter into a saucepan, melt over a gentle heat, and then add to the bowl along with 10 grams of fresh yeast dissolved in a tablespoon of water, 350 ml of that black velvet, and 80 grams of Guinness pre-ferment. Now for the pre-ferment, we need to go back back eight hours where I mixed 40 grams of dark white flour, one gram of fresh yeast and 40 ml of Guinness together to make a poolish. Leave the poolish for about eight to 12 hours to allow the yeast to do its work. Though time consuming, using a poolish pre-ferment comes with a whole heap of benefits, including improving the flavor, texture and color of the finished bread. Back in the present, attach a dough hook to the mixer and work the dough for 10 to 15 minutes until everything comes together to a smooth ball of dough and the flour is completely hydrated. Turn the dough out onto the table and knead it lightly and then shape into a smooth tight ball. Into a bowl, cover and leave to proof until doubled in size. Once proved to knock back the dough, reshape to a smooth ball and then place in a well-floured proving basket. Cover again and leave to prove once more until it's doubled in size and light and springy to the touch. Turn out the bread and place in a preheated casserole pan. Cut or score the top of the bread. I like the punk hedgehog effect that these scissors bring. Then cover with a lid, place into the oven at 220 degrees C for 30 minutes. Then remove the lid and return the pan to the oven and cook for another 20 to 30 minutes or until you're happy with the color. Finally, remove the bread from the pan and leave to cool on a wire rack. And there you have it, three different beers, three different breads. Play around with these bread recipes, have some fun, try a beer you love and see how it turns out. Now treat yourself to an extra thick slice with a generous amount of butter. I think you deserve it.